If you go down in the woods today, you're gonna find a handful of hairy guys with knives, torches, and GoPros. Welcome back guys. I am on my way to um, meet a buddy of mine, Rich from Bug Out Vehicles UK. Um, yeah, so we're doing a bit of a winter meetup on the, uh, the bit of land that he has permission on. So yeah, it's like a, a meet up in the woods, fire, alcohol, GoPros, laptops, all the fun stuff that YouTubers get up to, real ones anyway. Um, yeah, we're just gonna bounce off each other. Um, a couple of people are coming. I'm going to help each other out and hopefully give each other hints and tips and things like that because YouTube is a bit of a tough audience and uh, and the bit behind the scenes just, um, you know, sometimes it does uh, get a bit frustrating. So the weather is absolutely beautiful as you can tell. My only concern is that all of these boys are in Defenders and Discoveries and things like that and I am in a high top, long wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter. And I bet you like that Rich will find it as funny as hell if we end up having to winch me off of a tree. Well, I don't find that funny at all. So let's see. Um, chances are I'll end up sleeping in a Tesco car park because um, he might have underestimated the size of this thing. But we will see. So did I what did I tell you guys on the way here? It had me going through bloody marshes and things like that. As I'm walking along here, I'm like snapping snapping little branches because uh they're just like paint scratches where are you taking me mate taking the mick out of me because I'm a pavement princess. I know, I know. The other side straight, spinning straight into wheel. it. Straight your wheel. There you go. Hey, if you ever get stuck, make sure you really straight at the front. There's a like anchors if you don't. Momentum.
handbrake off. <laughs> <laughs> You reverse it in? I'd love to actually, yeah. I would. We must destroy the ring. <laughs> <laughs> so, had a lovely morning. It's about three o'clock now. Um, I am probably just about to have my first chilled can of lager. Um, absolutely cracking morning uh, with the lads. Not seen a few of them for a while. Uh, Dandy Andy's here now, love that guy. Um, bumping, in, bumping into him quite a lot now. Saw him at the Overland show. Um, he does the MOD knives and the um, seat skins. I'll put a link to his um, Etsy shop uh, in the description because he's got some good gear. Um, and I know at the Overland show, one of my other friends, um, Adam, he actually bought one of his knives. So that was good. So yeah, this isn't just a meetup in the woods with beers and a campfire, even though they are right up there on my things to do. Uh, it is actually a social media meetup. Um, there's three or four of us here that do YouTube and Instagram. And yeah, so Rich has been showing me how to take decent photos because I don't mind admitting I am absolutely awful at taking photos. A, I never take enough and B, they're always awful. But he's shown me a few hints and tips on how to create better photos and also the correct way to make them to make a decent thumbnail because believe it or not, it's not only about the footage um, trying to get a thumbnail the correct size and shape is that's a minefield in itself it's not it's not as easy as people think it is really um, so yes I also don't mind admitting that I am a football fan so I am actually I'll probably get a lot of stick for it but I am going to retreat to the van put the heating on put my feet up and watch Man United probably get battered by Tottenham um, so Yes, it's been absolutely cracking to be out. The weather has turned um, and it's nice and dry now. But um, I've been taking loads of photos, learning loads of hints and tips, having a good laugh, um, and it's something different. Um, you know, when do you ever get to park in the in the woods totally by yourselves? Uh, while I'm cutting back through the woods um, and doing my administration here, um, I want to say thanks to Rich, actually, not just for this meetup, but um, from day one, he's... You know, he's really had my back with helping me out, um, trying to help my Instagram grow, give me hints and tips. I mean, when I first started, I, it took me about four hours to get the footage off of my GoPro and onto my computer. Um, so, uh, you know, and he's he's tried to plug my channel and help me out. So it's really, really, really helped having um, such a big influence on YouTube and Instagram helping me out. So thanks for everything from, from day one, mate. Um, yeah, and now I'm here in the woods, just about to drink loads of beer with you, so, nice one. Oh, some nights drawn in real quick. Um, watched a bit of football on the iPad, um, using my little Wi-Fi setup, and then looked out the window, um, and little did I know, it's got dark. Um, Ash and Sai from Ashley's Landies and Simo Powell 
have turned up, Armored Engineering. Um, keep bumping into them, actually I don't keep bumping into them, I keep bumping into their truck, all these different events I go to, and they never seem to be about. Um, but they are here, um, so it'd be good to have a chat with them. Um, learned so much about taking photos. Um, at one point I had four different people, sorry about the light, um, it is literally so dark, I'm shining a torch on myself so you can see me. Um, learned so much about taking photos, um, hopefully you'll see the benefit of that um, on my social media moving forward. A couple of beers, light a fire, let the good times roll. Good morning guys, um, I had an absolutely lovely night's kip, um, 12 little cans of lager probably helped me turn the lights out if that makes sense, but um, I always make sure, let me just put the kettle on, I always make sure my van has got some earplugs available. Um, I use them at home if if I'm not on the night shift with the boy. Um, not that he wakes up in the night, but um, it just zones everything out. So even if people are mooching about, I mean, people were still out a bit later than I was um, last night. Put the earplugs in and it all just disappears. Um, the clocks went back in the night and I think I still woke up at half past nine, which is half past ten. So it's a good 11, 12 hours kip. Wow, so just had a shower, trying to make myself feel a bit more human. Had some paracetamol, gonna put the kettle on. I usually do breakfast outside um, to keep the stinks down and stuff like that. But I just don't wanna be out there. It's absolutely tipping down. Um, you can hear it on my Max fan. Tick, 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 tick. Um, it might make getting out a bit more fun than it was getting in, but I bet these guys just can't wait to be towing this. Um, so there we are, it's absolutely tipping down. I'm gonna make some breakfast and then see who's about. So, uh, like I said, these boys are just so keen to probably catch footage of towing my fat ass out of here. And uh, I've just been delivered loads of good, good news. I've just been to the toilet on the farm and uh, I put my armbands on for the way back so I'm just making sure you've got a recovery point on the front. Uh, do you want to see my new remote control winch? I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> also, where's my coffee? <laughs> it's on the way, it's on the way. Come to the woods, he said. It'll be fun, he said. So we're just now walking the, um, walking the course, should I put it. It has rained probably for four, five, six hours straight. Um, and there's it's really just flooding in the UK at the minute. There's floods everywhere. Um, we managed to get in. What we might do is send a couple of um, rugged men, rugged men with actually capable vehicles out first. Because what I don't want to do is come in here and bottleneck it all up by getting stuck, and then no one can get past me to tow me out. Um, let me just show you. And now I know the footage won't even begin to explain. But there is so it's not just the mud um if there was nothing around and it was just the mud you know you could probably put put a bit of speed down and you know just channel myself through but there are trees either side everywhere so it's a bit of navigation as well you can't just power and speed um because the back end would just end up wrapped around the tree and i don't want that no. fantastic I am a YouTuber watching a YouTuber interview a YouTuber. <laughs> That's like tell, three tell farms. Them that is it. Tell them what I've actually set up here. No, I, I have. I've told, I've told people we are literally here for that. It is so hard um, getting a camera out in front of other fully grown people. It is so embarrassing. But here, um, it's just okay. Mm. And you get your, you get your camera out, and someone else will go, "Do you know what, mate? It'd be better if you did it from this angle and things like that," because. It is absolutely terrifying, especially when you're walking around a show or something like that, with, about getting the camera out. Um, yeah. Shows, well, I, I, shows are strange, I'm not used to it anyway. <laughs> I don't know about strange. you guys. It is. No, shows are no, strange. And, and a lot of people don't make it easy because you'll start making a video 
And for some reason, everyone's either got to make a big deal out of it or clown about around it, mm. which just makes it hard work. It makes you embarrassed yeah. and all the rest of it. So I'm trying to put on a few more like creator camps and get stuff going back and forth. The van lifers do it, but they're all clicky, so they just keep to themselves. So why shouldn't we do it? And we'll yeah. start building a bit of a thing. Yeah, so right. so right. that was the purpose. And um, yeah, like I say, this, this man here, um, teaching me absolutely amazing things on just using um, a decent iPhone um, as far as thumbnails are concerned because I cannot take a picture for love nor money um, but this guy can um, and he's shown me his way well actually he sent me loads of his so my, my pictures <laughs> my pictures might be really good and then they might tail off a bit and that'll be why so uh, that'll be why <laughs> just to tell you what great to your new iPhone yeah so he's yeah he's spending more of my money um, so yeah. there we go so the tree above where I was kipping last night has literally lost so many leaves um, that I physically cannot wind up my awning. So I've, I've literally had to duct tape a brush to the end of a branch and I'm sweeping it off, getting rid of those leaves so I can close it up. We're buzzing now.
really cheesy picture with your three. <laughs> Happy? Yeah! It's not a show pony anymore! Dirty, show people how dirty it is! Just about survived the weekend with Richard Bug Out Vehicles. Massive thank you to you, mate. Um, loads of social media um, knowledge passed on, and I finally got the van dirty. Didn't get it stuck, didn't bruise it, didn't hurt it. I doubt any of the footage will um, do it justice, to be honest, but it was slippery. I was quite lucky the ruts kind of just drove me out, but this. <laughs> when I came here yesterday morning and I took a look at this knowing that I'm close to four tons I was a bit like Ugh. but had a cracking time big up Rich nice one mate and uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time